Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkazunky. So I figured I would make kind of a progress update on how the Glacers are going so far. I have been killing Glacers a lot lately. And also I wanted to clear a few things up about the guide that I made yesterday. But first of all, first of all, I'm on 20 shards at the moment. I have only one in my inventory, but in the bank I do have 20 more. So I'm one-fifth of the way towards my second Armadale Battle Staff. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, also, one of the main reasons I'm at Glacers is, well, not only you can momentum and still get fairly decent kills per hour. Um, oh, I almost got exploded by that guy. That's what happens when you're recording. Sometimes it's hard to, uh, you know, commentate and pay full attention and all that. But anyway, part of the reason I'm at Glacers is I'm someone who does like to go for XP uh, past 99 in a few skills. Not most of them, but defense being one of those skills and uh, this is actually 300,000 defense XP per hour while momentuming so I do get fairly good progress towards that 200 mil. Uh, defense is probably the only realistic skill that I could get to 200 mil one day. Um, I would like to say farming and uh, slayer as well but I don't know how that is ever going to happen. But anyway, yeah, I did just pass 54 mil defense today, so I guess that's another landmark. Every 2 mil defense XP, you get a nice little A-log update, so that's pretty cool. Um, so it should now say uh, 54 mil defense in my A-log. Um, and also, 500 kills since my last pair of boots, I got a pair of boots. Um, I don't have them in my inventory because I actually got them at like, the very end of last trip, uh, one of my last kills of the trip, and I got uh, rage fires. So I have my um, A-log pulled up right now, and we just go, and yep, this is me, and I got a pair of Rage Fire Boots. And also during that trip, I got 69 kills in one trip, um, which is the most kills I have ever gotten during a trip, uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. I was just using the Penance Aura that trip um, and kind of going beast mode, so I managed to pull out nearly 70 kills in a trip, and I also got um, 8 shards of Armadil in that trip which I was very relieved about because I had gone a couple 50 kill trips without getting a single shard and I was beginning to get worried that Glacors hated me um, so luckily I was able to pull out uh, yeah, 8 shards of Armadillo in one trip which is also the most shards I've ever had in one trip that was pretty cool and a pair of boots to go along with that how cool is that that's like the ultimate Glacors trip doesn't get much better than that guys um, but another thing I wanted to say is I want to clear up a few things about the guide that I made yesterday. I probably don't think that anyone that um, commented on the guide, uh, some negative comments, are going to be watching this video. But just for people to understand, the guide that I made uh, for Glacers was a momentuming guide, as it said in the title and the thumbnail. Um, and as I stated in the video, I made the guide on how to momentum. I realized there is a ton of Glacier guides on YouTube that show you how to kill them using abilities. I personally know how to kill Glacers using abilities, and I have done it many times before. Um, but it's just a lot more relaxing to use momentum. And if I am going to grind a boss like this, I cannot use abilities for hours on end. That's just the way I am. Uh, I get really sick and tired and burnt out a lot faster if I use abilities. I'm not against using abilities. When I go to God Wars Dungeon, I use them. When I go to TDs, I use them. When I go to DKs, I use them. When I Dungeoneer, I use abilities. And when I'm slain and I feel really motivated, I use abilities. So it's not like I never use them. Um, I just enjoy killing this boss because you can kill it without having to use abilities and you're still pretty effective. Um, so just to clear that up, also, I did state during the guide it was a medium wealth guide, and a few people commented, you need to use Virtus Wand, and I can't really afford that at the moment. If I did, I would have, sh if I had a Virtus Wand in Virtus Book, I would have shown it in the guide, but um, unfortunately, my funds at the moment do not allow for me to afford those things, unfortunately. But hey, uh, maybe if I get lucky at Glacors and get a few pairs of boots, I might be able to afford Virtus one day. But uh, hopefully that clears that up. So, at the moment, I'm probably going to just stay at Glacier's for quite some time. This is probably one of the best bosses in uh, the EOC, in my opinion. Um, one thing that a lot of people don't realize uh, is actually bossing, and I think bossing is so much better in EOC than um, before EOC, uh, when we still had the special attacks and all that. Um, before EOC, my favorite boss was Dagonoth Kings because you could try bread there and stay for like a couple hours just solo um, and make a fair amount of money. It was like 1.5 mil an hour ish, so it wasn't amazing money, but it was definitely pretty good. Um, you can make a lot more at QBD these days, but um, you know, before EOC, we didn't have the 
3.5 mil an hour guaranteed boss, uh, unfortunately. But um, Dagonoth Kings was really consistent, and uh, I've never been the luckiest player on RuneScape, but before EOC, much more so. I was very, very unlucky. My luck has gotten a little bit better since the evolution of combat, but I always got really frustrated because I was go I would go on those long bandos trips and never get a single item. So that's another reason I uh, I really liked the Dagonoth Kings because the drops there were fairly common. Um, if you did a two-hour trip, you would almost always get at least one drop there. Um, and actually, Dagonoth Kings are not, uh, as many people believe, they're not impossible to solo in the evolution of combat. Um, when EOC first came out, some people went to Dagonoth Kings, I think, and made videos about it. And then he just showed how prayer did not work there, and the Dagonoth Kings hit really hard, and they're like, oh, this is impossible to solo. Um, so it's not impossible to solo, and I definitely would have made a video at Dagonoth Kings if I could, but my internet has been terrible. I've been DCing constantly. This is actually my third take at this video, because during the first two takes of this video, I disconnected in the middle of the video, and you just had my character just standing there for like 30 seconds, um, and the screen wasn't moving at all, so I didn't think that was very appropriate for the video. And also, I, the commentary wasn't really the best, so I decided to just take it over. But unfortunately, yeah, I have not been able to do fun bosses uh, like Dagonoth Kings um, and the like, and Tormented Demons, one of my favorite bosses, probably my favorite boss in EOC is Tormented Demons, uh, my second favorite being Dagonoth Kings, and my third favorite being either this or the QBD, but I think PVM in general is so much better since the evolution of combat, that might be because I've actually been getting drops since the evolution of combat, back-to-back -back shards, that's nice, uh, I'm not sure if that's the case, I'm not sure if it's just a lot more fun to actually do stuff at bosses rather than just click a piece of food every once in a while and watch your character smack it with a rapier, uh, I, that never really appealed to me all that much, but I found myself able to actually kill bosses for much longer periods of time since the evolution of combat, and also the fact that I actually do get drops now is, is uh, that helps a lot. I made a, um, a Excel document recently um, with all like the drops in the game and I noted down all the drops that I've ever gotten and I thought it would be cool one day to like receive every drop from every boss ever um, with the Corporal Beast and Nex uh, in the game I know that probably would never happen for me just because I don't really want to get all the sigils or all the Nex items that would just take an age and uh, those aren't bosses I really enjoy doing but uh, anyway yeah, that's about me. Um, I really have been enjoying PBMing a lot more recently, and hopefully I'll be able to make some more PBM videos because I know a lot of people enjoy the, enjoy those. Not everyone enjoys the skilling vlog. Some people would rather see me, you know, making a vlog at Glacors or Tormented Demons and stuff. I do actually have some footage from uh, a TD's trip I had do with a friend, and it was pretty crazy. So I guess I'll put a little bit of that footage in at the very end of the video, and you can just see exactly what that was like. But Anyway, that's all for this video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the vlog. If you want to see me doing vlogs at Glacors or some other kind of PVM instead of skilling, uh, I could definitely do that in the, the near future. So, yep, that's all. Farewell.